Hey, what's up? This is me, Warren. Here again with another video. So, um, in this video, I'm answering answering a quick question that I just received. And the question was, why did my ex move on so quickly from me? You know, how come they move on from me to the rebound so quickly? Can you explain this? The reason why your ex move on so quickly from you to the next person is because it was already set up. See, the thing is, they're not going to leave you until that next relationship was already set up, already planned out, and it's, they're comfortable with them moving on to it. See, the thing is, it might come to a big shock to you, but your ex probably was planning this for months. You know, they took some time out to plan this, you know, because your actions, you know, um, probably were turning the person off. You probably were acting in a certain way that, you know, that wasn't pleasing them and, you know, up to par for them. So they start planning their escape. And once they plan their escape and, you know, they move on to the next person, um, it just hits you like a ton of bricks. Like, wow, it's just out the blue. And it might seem, and it might come off as your ex probably like it's heartless, have no emotions for you. Um, it's like they, you know, narcissistic and all that type stuff. But in reality, they plan this stuff. They, um, they probably, you know, had some prospects waiting in the background to talk to them. And she would, I mean, well, they, it could be a man or woman, they were just evaluating their options and they just find the best option. Then they move on to the next person. But while they're doing all that, evaluating the next person and, you know, going through who's best to be with and stuff like that, they stay with you for the meantime and they go through the emotions. They go through the motions of the relationship, the ups and downs and all that stuff. That's why they move on so quickly. It was already planned. Some coaches and stuff like that, they call it monkey branching. You know, just like a monkey won't let go of one branch until the monkey um, has the next branch in his hand. You know, that's why they, that's why they call it monkey branch. But it was already planned out, you know, the best thing to do is think like this. This is what you should think. Your mindset should be like this. If you can go and do something like that and monkey branch and whatever term they call and leave me and go to the next person, stay with that person. That's your attitude. There's no trying to get back over here. There's no revolving doors. If that happened, suck it up go through the you know your emotion of what you're gonna go through and then you start the self-improvement part and you show people that you're not hurt you're gonna be hurt trust me you know you human it hurts especially if you care about that person and don't fall into you know the trap that you have to do something don't stop and you know want to figure out who this person is talking to that's none of your concern don't worry about is that person happier with that person. That's none of your concern. Your concern at this moment in time is to be the best version of yourself by following um, following certain people's Facebooks and social media accounts, trying to find out who you ask to talk to. What's the, let me ask you, what's the purpose of that? How do you benefit from that? I know your mind, you're going to be curious and you're going to know. You want to you want to know who this person is talking to. By the end of the day, it don't benefit you. You got to cut your losses, let them go. You don't want to be with nobody who don't want to be with you. Come on, think about that. Don't chase after nobody who don't want you. You look foolish and crazy and don't scratch yourself out wondering about someone who don't want you no more you know keep in mind the most precious thing that you have is time use your time wisely and better yourself you know better yourself now the thing is if you might you in, in times like these you're gonna need help so the best thing to do 
Just go to Amazon. You know, you can buy my guide. It's a short guide. It helps you. In, it helps you in this process, and it helps you tell. It tells you what to do in this process. My short guide also tells you what to do if you have children with your ex, and you wondering how can you do no contact with no ki with kids and stuff like that, and how to maneuver in those situations. But overall, if you need to get in contact with me, I'm always be here with you. You can send me an email, and you know. I'll be right here waiting, you know, just send me an email and I'll follow the steps. I'll be right here waiting for you. Peace, man. You take care. Live the best life you can possibly better yourself.